In this video, we're gonna go through six of the most costly marketing mistakes real estate agents are making right now. And if you're a real estate agent, I can guarantee you, you're probably making half of these. And all of this information is collected over the past three years and 2,500 Zoom calls I've had with some of the top producing agents in the country. So we're gonna go through these one by one. I'll show you how to fix them and hopefully make your life a lot easier and put some more money in your pocket. Mistake number one is going all in on one source of leads for your conversions. And normally in real estate, that's something like Zillow Realtor or any other portal website out there. And that's likely because those portal websites are the easiest leads to convert, but they're not always the most profitable. So the big mistake here is not allocating marketing budget to other sources of lead generation. That could be Google PPC, that can be Bing PPC, that could be TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, any of those social media websites. So when I'm thinking about a marketing strategy that's gonna get you the most amount of opportunities, it's always gonna be a combination of Zillow, Realtor, and those social media platforms because you wanna optimize your marketing for the lowest cost per closing. And normally that's not gonna be done just through Zillow. So when you're taking some of that Zillow and Realtor and any other portal website spend and you're allocating it to things like social media, not only are you building a brand, but these are the two main factors that I'm doing that and trying to consider where I'm putting my marketing budget. So the first reason is as you spread your marketing budget across different platforms, your cost per lead actually closes. I can guarantee you that if you start doing social media leads, your cost per closing compared to Zillow is gonna be significantly low. And number two, if Zillow or Realtor is your only source of leads right now, at any point, they can make a major change to their platform that will literally cripple your business and set you back six, eight, 10, 12 months. I've seen it happen. So if you're in the boat of having that as your primary lead source, I would really consider moving that budget over to traditional advertising, not only to get those leads and kind of spread out your marketing budget, but also you're building a brand and not Zillow's brand. So try that out. Mistake number two is agents not having any automated email campaigns go out. Now, when I'm thinking about the best way to convert these leads coming through from different sources, it always comes down to speed to lead and the number of times you're able to contact somebody. Let's stick with speed to lead. So with that, you've got three options. You've got texting, you've got emailing, and you've got calling. I will tell you right now, agents are really only good at one of those three and it's never calling. So the low hanging fruit here is emailing. And with most CRMs, you're able to create these templates in your CRM to hit these leads as soon as they come through. Now there's a few different templates you can use for this, but I actually just made a video about this. So if you wanna check out that video with specific templates, that video is going to be right there. But every time a lead comes through, you should be asked asking yourself two questions. How can I hit this person as fast as I possibly can? And how can I put my face in front of them? So that's always gonna be a combination of those three things, calling, texting, or emailing. But the easiest way to do this is to just send out an email to that person once they come through, introducing yourself and explaining how to use your website. If they're coming through from like an IDX website that you've got created. And if you have this automated drip campaign created in your CRM, it's just gonna make your life and your speed to lead problems a whole lot easier. Mistake number three is they don't use video content. And I don't just mean on social media, I also mean in email content, which I've mentioned in a previous video. But one of the things that really surprised me is this post in a Facebook group where this person basically said that 60% of their business is coming from social media videos, which is crazy. And the reason why I like this post so much is because you have to realize everybody is doing the same thing. Anybody can create a template in Canva. They can have a company make these templates and post on social media for you. But at the end of the day, it's not you and it's not your brand. It's just pure information. And if people want information, they will normally just go to Google and find an article. So when you're thinking about video content, you have to express yourself through the videos because people out there that are searching for answers to problems want to work with people and not robots. So really ask yourself, what makes me different than everybody else doing real estate in my market? And if the answer to that is something that you've never shared with people, consider making a video about that and just sending that out everywhere into the world for your pure audience to find you and wanna work with you. Mistake number four is agents not having a system in place place for any of their day-to-day -day activities. And it's not just social media content, it's things like follow-up and then everything else that comes with being a real estate agent. So everything that they do is basically starting from scratch. They are trying to keep everything centralized within themselves and handle all of the moving parts of their business. Now, one of the things that I've found to be very successful for me is figuring out on this two by two matrix, what I'm good at, what I'm bad at, and what I love doing and what I hate doing. Now, one out of the four squares is going to be something that you should continue doing 
doing. 75% of the time, the work that you're doing should be outsourced. And even with that 25% of work that you are doing, the next question is to ask yourself, is this the best use of my time? And most of the time, the answer is no. So when you're figuring out what you wanna outsource, you obviously wanna have a system in place, but you wanna hire the right people to then fulfill that system. And whether it's follow-up, social media content, whatever you're having problems with right now, the system is what you want to create and then train other people as they come in to work that system. But if you're starting everything from scratch, every time you post a video, every time you follow up with a lead, you're never gonna get anywhere. I've seen it happen and you don't wanna be in that position. Mistake number five is the agents don't track lead activity. Now that could mean that your agents aren't doing that. That can mean that you, you aren't doing it, but you need to assume that if something isn't being tracked in your CRM, it's not happening. Now you need to ask yourself every 90 days, literally every quarter, this should be like clockwork. Ask yourself, where are my best leads coming from? And where is the lead source that I have with the lowest cost per closing? If you can't answer those two questions, you're making your life miserable. So you wanna be very diligent about having the system in place to track lead activity. Because if I come to you in a conversation and I say, hey, where are your best leads coming from? Or where are you finding the most success? The easy answer is Zillow because you have the most conversions, but you're not tracking the other leads that you're closing from different sources that have a much lower cost per closing. And at that point, we could reallocate some Zillow budget over to those sources and exploit that. But in most cases, agents don't know. They just see the number of conversions and closings and they don't really consider the cost per closing or the ROI. So you wanna be very diligent about tracking lead activity. I want you to get hyper-focused on this because if you can't answer those two questions like clockwork, literally every quarter, again, you're making your life miserable. Mistake number six, and this is probably my favorite being the marketing nerd that I am, is not doing any retargeting. Now, when I'm thinking about retargeting, and it's very simple to break down, but most people don't know they can do this or even how to do it. So think about when you go to Amazon and you look at a TV, a pack of Sharpie permanent markers, a water bottle, a deck of cards. I'm just looking around my desk here. You don't buy those things. You just simply look at them. Once you go to Facebook 20 minutes later or Instagram a day later, those things are going to chase you around the internet. Now, the cool part about this is that you can do this with real estate. Essentially, what you're doing is taking your entire database of leads in your CRM and you can create a custom audience audience in Facebook based on that list of emails. So Facebook is going to take a Facebook profile and match it with one of the emails that you've got in your CRM. And the cool part about this is that if you're using video content and you're pushing that out to your database through email, or you're just posting organic social media content, you can use those videos and then show them to your database specifically. So it essentially acts as a digital billboard. A lot of the agents I talk to are so focused on generating leads, generating leads, but they have 50,000, 60,000, 100,000 leads in their database. And I'm saying to them, you don't have a lead problem. You have a retargeting problem. But even if your database size isn't that big, you want to focus on hitting these new leads as many times as you possibly can, showing your face in front of people, because that's what's going to move the needle for your business. So if you want to learn how to make videos for retargeting specifically, or even in email content, click on this video right here, and I'll catch you over there. Peace.